to this lapel microphone unboxing of the iPro Max lapel mic from Microphones and More. Here we have in the box the iPro Max lapel microphone from Microphones and More directly as it comes from Amazon. The iPro Max, as the name suggests, is a microphone that is specifically designed and wired for use with Apple products such as the Apple iPhone, the Apple iPad, tablet and Apple computer. And because of an ingenious inclusion or bonus with this microphone, you can also use it with Android devices, but uh, more on that in a moment. The iPro Max is professional in every way. Let's first start at the box it comes in. I think it's absolutely professional in its design and just looks the kit. On the front we have pictures of the inclusions. Now on the back <coughs> we have a intro description of the mic which uh, can then read its features and specifications. The specifications which are the operating capabilities or boundaries if you like reveal the quality of the mic and they are pretty damn good for a mic at this price. Now the specs reveal that the model number for this uh, mic is the iOS 1A and its directivity is unidirectional which is ideal for a lapel mic. And this is what a unidirectional pattern looks like. It is ideal for a lapel microphone because in real life as a working estimate your microphone will pick up less than half as much sound from the sides as from the front and less than a tenth as much sound from the rear. And, uh, and this gives you more desired sound and less undesired sound, which is why we mostly use the lapel mic uh, for in the first place, for interviewing situations or for personal use for um, video, etc., etc. Now, it goes on, on to tell us in the, uh, in the specifications that the mic diameter is uh, 0 0.9.7 times 5.2 millimeters, and this simply refers to the size of the microphone. And in the gene of lapel microphones, uh, there is no significant practical sound quality difference in one or two mil difference in microphone size, such as technology is. It then lists in the specifications, uh, next one down the list, the, sensit uh, the sensitivity of uh, minus 47 decibels, 2 plus or minus 2 decibels. Now there is more to a good microphone than its sensitivity and these figures don't tell much in isolation. However, microphone sensitivity in layman's terms is the magnitude of the volume of a sound that a microphone can record for a given signal. Basically, it's the loudness, if you like, of the sound that the microphone can pick up. Now when a sound is made from a source, the microphone records this signal. The intensity of the signal recorded is the sensitive sensitivity or gain of that microphone. Now the next one on the list of specifications frequency range 20 to 20 K Hertz frequency yes it's measured in Hertz you can see this on every package of microphones that you buy uh, the frequency response curve illustrates the microphone's ability to uh, transform acoustic energy into electric signals and whether it will do so faithfully or will introduce coloration. And you could say that the frequency response refers to the way a microphone responds to a different frequencies. The lower the hertz, the, the higher the bass, and the, the higher the hertz, the more treble. Um, take care not to mistake frequency response for frequency range. The frequency range of a microphone only gives you a rough indication of which frequency range or area that the microphone will be able to reproduce sound within a given tolerance. Frequency range is often referred to as bandwidth. And the, uh, the human hearing range is commonly given as 20 to 20 hertz, uh, well 20,000, that should be uh, 20 K hertz, same thing. Uh, however, there is considerable variation between individuals, especially at high frequency, and a gradual decline with age is considered normal anyway. Uh, a microphone with a frequency range of 20 to 20 K Hertz enables a good roll off and a uh, cut off points which effectively means that it maintains its sound quality at both ends of the frequency spectrum. The microphones are more iPro uh, Max lapel microphone has the ultimate range and functionality and in effect is up there with the best microphone frequency range that you can get. Uh, it then lists uh, in the specifications the the impedance of uh, 680 ohms. In layman's terms, any device which generates a voltage has what is called output impedance. Uh, impedance is electrical resistance measured in ohms. Uh, there are three general classifications for microphone impedance. Uh, number one at low impedance, less than 600. Medium impedance is 600 to 10,000 ohms. And high impedance, greater than 10,000 ohms. And uh, to put some sort of qualification on this, high impedance microphones are used usually quite cheap and they do not perform well with long distance cables and uh, begin producing poor quality audio in particular loss at 
of uh, high frequency. Low impedance microphones are usually quite expensive and reserved more specifically for dedicated sound recording studios. Uh, this microphone's a more iPro Max lapel microphone is in the medium impedance range and in effect is one of the best impedance ratings, ratings value for money microphone that, uh, that you can get. Um, it then tells us the standard operating voltage of 1 to 10 volts DC. There are two numbers here. The lower number of 1 volt is the standard operating voltage needed by this iPro Max microphone to operate with full functionality so that the microphone can amplify and record signals fully. The higher number of 10 volts of direct current is the maximum operating voltage that this microphone is a more iPro or Pro Max lapel microphone should be supplied. This indicates a large safety margin and the voltage used is normally far below this amount anyway from most devices. However, if the voltage does exceed the maximum operating voltage specified, the microphone can be damaged obviously and destroyed and rendered non-functional. The next uh, one on the list is uh, the SNR or uh, signal to noise ratio measured in decibels and is the ratio of signal power to the noise power corrupting the signal. The ratio compares the level of a desired signal to the level of a background noise. The higher the ratio, the less obvious the background noise will be. Uh, to provide you a reference to the stated SNR of 58 decibels, uh, here are some examples of sound levels in decibels. 40 decibels we will have in light traffic, uh, typewriter or loud conversation will come out around about the 50 decibel mark, 60 decibels for a noisy office and up around the 70 decibels for normal traffic. And lastly, in the specifications, uh, we can see the wire. Wire just simply refers to, or the 1.2 meter or 3 foot 9 inches in American terms, uh, simply refers to the microphone wire, which at 1.2 meters is conveniently about 200 meter, millimeters longer than many other microphones available with their standard meter. On the front of the box we have an image of the Pearl microphone and three images of its contents. The box contains more than what you see here which we'll take a look at shortly. But first let's open up the box and see the mic and all of the box contents. Now here we have uh, which while well, I think it's quite classy black velvet. It's a 8 centimeter by 10 centimeter bag uh, with the red and white MMS logo. Just a really nice touch. Uh, inside we have uh, the mic which is again professional in its look and construction. The mic housing and mesh cover is polished steel. No, not plastic, it's steel. And the mic is protected from both alkaline and acidic conditions as you would expect. The specifically wired business end of the mic has a four pole TRS 3.5 build plug that is CTIA wired. Now this is important to understand. This is Apple standard of wiring format or design that they use and is why most microphones that you buy are either for Apple or for Android and is the reason they only work in those products or not work as the case may be. And this is where the iPro Max for microphones are more differs and stands out from the crowd because they have included this ingenious little bonus. It's the smart conversion adapter cable. Now uh, just briefly the, the smart conversion adapter cable enables you to use this mic which is made specifically for Apple devices with smartphones from manufacturers such as Nokia, HTC, Motorola, Samsung and LG. However, the warning is that this is a bonus inclusion that gives you the ability to use this mic with many more devices that use the Android platform. However, because there are literally tens of thousands of devices out there and there is no one concrete plug wiring standard, there is no blanket guarantee that every device will magically work when using the smart conversion adapter cable. Now just to explain the technical bit on the CTI and OMPT, there are two standards of wiring a plug or connector. Now one is known as a CTIA standard as I said and one is known as OMPT standard. CTIA is the standard that Apple use. OMPT is the standard common uh, to uh, the majority of Android products. Most Samsung smartphones and older Sony Ericsson and Nokia smartphones are OMPT, which is why this is specific but uh, quite ingeniously adaptable to both Android and the Apple platforms through this smart uh, smart connector cable. So moving on, next we have uh, not one but two windscreens and that is great on two counts. You have two in case you lose one, obviously, and you have a backup anytime you need to wash one, which is pretty obvious in itself. Now there is also an awesome wire clip that is uh, also great on two counts also. It organises your lower wire 
and it professionalizes your presentation it just keeps control of that that meter long or 1.2 meter long wire basically and uh, yeah so and then there is the information technical data sheet now this opens up uh, with a thank you for your purchase which is quite nice and a warm message from MSM owner uh, Tom Black and then goes on to give some pretty good information about the iPro Max mic and how to get the most out of it one of the great things and buyer comforts of the iPro Max lapel microphone is the satisfaction guarantee given if you have any quality problems with your clip on iPro Max microphone and if for any reason the product does not perform as described simply return the clip on microphone to them and they'll replace and deliver a new one to you absolutely free of charge now at the time of the launch this uh, this box also includes two fantastic extras or bonuses in the way of coupons and likely will for some time uh, yet as it is a, just a fantastic way of marketing the iPro Max Apple microphone for microphones and more. Now the first bonus coupon is the 20% Amazon repurchase coupon for iPro Max lapel microphone let me read it here uh, thank you for your purchase it says please accept this surprise bonus 20% Amazon discount coupon offer if you or a friend would like to purchase another MSN iPro Max lapel mic basically hurry while the offer last um, it says there and go to that tiny URL uh, claim coupon uh, and you can have your 20% discount uh, or if you it goes on to read if you need a voice recorder visit their uh, their website basically that will get get voice recorder um, you now the URL or the QR code on the coupon which you can scan there now it should should that should actually take you there if you have a smartphone uh, will take you to their web page where you can listen to a quick message from the owner of microphones and more and then enter your details to claim the coupon and this is that page basically it goes to the welcome to bargain city purchase page and gives you two ways to uh, to purchase one down the left and one down the right side one through Amazon and one through uh, with a 20% discount now the second bonus coupon is uh, the 25% Amazon review and purchase coupon for our Pro Max lapel microphone. Now let me read it. Simply write on a uh, write an Amazon review on the iPro Max lapel mic that you've just purchased, which will be the one that you purchase and open up and find this. Uh, don't receive 20%, but a 25% discount uh, Amazon discount coupon uh, offer if you or a friend would like to purchase another MSM uh, and an iPro lapel Max. Uh, once again, hurry while the offer lasts. Uh, go to the review mic, and uh, and that takes you over. To, well, you can go there via the Q QR code there, and that'll take you to the web page where you can listen to uh, microphones more owner again, and then that'll then take you to the uh, the Amazon review 25% discount coupon page where you claim your coupon there. Simply enter your details, follow the instructions, and you have yourself 25% discount on another MNA. MSNN microphone, uh, Opro Max microphone. So now knowing that the basic parameters for this microphone are up there with the best of them, the only other challenge to get the most out of the Opro Max lapel microphone is how you set it up and how you set up the recording and transmitting devices that you use it with. Um, the uh, if you're new to all this and don't yet have a recorder or want to research one to download, don't worry because. Uh, MSNM have also taken care of this for you too. Just simply go to the website there, as you can see on the screen, msnm.biz, and they've already done the research into the problems experienced by uh, people using the Pearl microphones and their How to Record Pro audio video they've hosted on their web page will help enormously. And that's the page. Uh, that's the page there. And so ends the unveiling of this lapel microphone, the iPro Max from Microphones and More. Uh, you can purchase on Amazon USA via the Microphones and More website for the best discount, of course. Visit their bargain, uh, bargain city purchase page at the link under this video. Thanks for listening, and catch you in the next video. Cheers.